powder. Nice forehead. Nice sit. Looking great. I'm sure the casting agency will be all over me. Especially now that I'm appearing on Hollywood Babe Watch, I'm the number one watch show in the world. Did you know that Harley's Babe Watch versus Xena Saga was the number one watch show in the world? Can you believe that? Good ideas for special things to make and stuff. And brownies and biscuits and stuff like that. Yeah. Cheers. Biddly uh, fee. The bitty bee. Totally do. Oh, I think this one's out of there. I've been really fucking clowning, but oh, it's time to change the G-string. Oh, you know, we need to get down there and work it, work it. Because this month, we're going to be in seven different cities nationwide. Our show is being broadcasted in Bali. Oh, no, we're going to Bali, Tahiti, the Caribbean, Hawaii. And right now, we're in Tahiti on the beach. And I'm getting ready for my afternoon shot. Um, kind of doing makeup and stuff like that. And remembering, memorizing my lines. So here seems to come like a new batch of people and kind of watch set. So we can get the new batch. How you doing there, guys? Having fun? See, see any rainbows around here? Oh, cool. Save me a dolphin. You lose your cigarette. Oh, and sit on it. Fun. Let's get another one. Oh, there's that's mine. What a treat. Oh, that's mine too. Another. Okay. Start filming. Oh, should I put some eye makeup on? Start filming whenever. Are you filming? Yeah, my makeup looks fucked up today. So we're playing some more too. For everybody. Oh, everybody's leaving. The seagulls. Okay, we gotta find recruit people to be in the skit. Okay, everybody, we're in Tahiti, and I'm listening to Morrissey on the beach in Tahiti, which I don't think that you can really get much better than that, so I'm not happy now. I don't know. So hopefully I'll be looking good for those casting agents that I hope will be calling up the show. And, um, I'm even more better than six. You can shut it off for us now. That was it's one of that segment. This is my mother-in-law's lipstick. Cause I'm house sitting in her house, which is really really nice of her. She's in Paris with um with my boyfriend, and they're no doubt recovering from some 
They're retreating from, um, you know, having a rest, recovery from the, you know, drug problem that we all have of eating extra papaya juice at every meal that he's trying to recover from. So hopefully he'll meet us up with us in Tahiti. And um, meanwhile, you know, we're going to have a big October bash and we'll have a live runway show from Union Square in San Francisco. We'll be filming a special, special show. Um, and, you know, a big celebrity bash and um, lots of fun surprises, no doubt. So enjoy yourself and enjoy this episode. And okay, you can keep filming, you keep filming. And something's bothering me about my eyebrows. Am I just being too picky, guys? Am I just being too hard on myself? Just tell me I'm being too picky and hard on myself. I know I am. I know being up for four days and um, Eating elephants doesn't do anything to your skin color. It's crazy. Oh, 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 I was going to put mascara on. Huh? Oh, it's such a beautiful sun. I'm missing all the sun. I'm going to look at the sun because it's really pretty. Sorry. I'm going to miss it. I'm already getting goosebumps. So, um, so, on the Harley Show today, here we are in Tahiti, our feet in the sand, our money in the ha our hand, and the Sultan of Israel gave us half a million dollars to entertain him because he loves the Harley Show so much. So meanwhile, we've been touring the U.S. and we're the number one show in the country. In fact, we're the number one show in the world. Did you know that? Did I mention that we were the number one watch show in the country? And our Zena Baywatch saga continues on the Harley Show. Oh, I was going to change my Some more, see? Get in the mood of the show with the song. And today on the Harley Show, I mean on the Baywatch Cena Saga. Today on the Baywatch Cena Saga. Oh no, somebody tries to poison Mary Blue. I mean, CJ on Baywatch. Um, I mean, Zena. Um, and with some love potion. Oh no! What will become of her? We'll see. You know, I wonder what the plot behind getting her a love potion is. Seems pretty sinister to me. Why would anyone want to give CJ a love potion? What are they up to? It must be Harley and his old schemes. We'll find out. You'll find out along with us on The Harley Show today, live from Tahiti. Let me put some mascara on. I love it, my hair is getting all long again. So nice, feels so good to have long hair. Again, dude, after having short hair, I feel like Pamela Lee. but with sandy blonde hair and a fake tan and no fake boobs. Thank you very much. Oh, and, and I don't exactly pass Pamela Lee. I know, I know. Don't worry. It's all in good fun today on the Harley Show. See what CJ gets herself into. Oh. And out of 
Don't miss a thing. Move the camera a little bit away. Don't miss a thing. Shit. Shit. I think somebody's trying to put a love potion on CJ. What do you guys think? I think that's the only thing that is really going on here is that Harley is secretly jealous of CJ and just wants CJ to stay out of the show so she doesn't take power over the show because he knows that CJ is starting to control the whole beach and the whole show and he doesn't want her to get too powerful. So Harley Hasselhoff is going to become evil on the show. Oh no, Harley Hasselhoff evil you have? Yes, he's evil. He's doing evil deeds and he will poison CJ with his evil love potion. We'll see who our surprise guests we can ground up, scrape up today on the Harley Show. Hi folks. Hi. Did you catch any good worms or anything? Any lentils? No, no spaghetti. Good luck then. Oh, a hawk. Okay, so in the name of free broadcasting in America and free viewing pleasure, we bring you this episode of Harley vs. Baywatch Saga. that my fiance bought me is not showing. Oh. Bye guys! Happy happy spaghetti eating. And don't torture each other anymore. Love, love is the answer. <laughs> Viewers home too. Love is the answer. And me too. Oh, these people look too nice to me to be mean to. But see, those are usually the funniest people to be mean to. I mean, silly too. See, we're not actually harassing the guests as they're leaving the beach. We're just simply hosting them at, at the, on, the sh on the beach. On the show. On the beach. Happy, happy um, scouting. Good luck with the nickels and don't spend any more money. Don't, don't worry, the crash will be over soon. Enjoy the beach. Come every day. Move to the beach. He was getting mad and scared. Ooh. I scared him with my silly niceness and I didn't even do anything. Ha ha ha. 
There goes the hawk again. Kaka, kaka. Must be a sign. Hmm. Harley's caught on to our plan. Let's see what the bay what the bay um, brings us. Okay, Harley has clap. Let's go. So, let's go find some people. Come on. Get off your. Come on. For each other, you know, like trying to trap each other. Did I mention my necklace that my fiance gave me? Hmm. Zephyr? Hi Zephyr, there's only one of you. He's in Paris, hi. Let me speak. Um. We're getting married soon. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. And everything, even though all my friends and our parents, everybody thinks we shouldn't get married. Even Harley's trying to break us up. We'll find a way through it. Somehow, somehow we'll overcome. Yeah, try something new, you know. Veg eat more vegetables. Yeah. Usually works out. He liked the, he liked it. He got over his, his um, hostility and welcomed something unknown, which is really good. I applaud, I applaud you, sir. I applaud you for your creative open, openness. I'm sure the tits and have nothing to do with it, but. Oh, let's see, what's happening? I think I see a drown, somebody drowning. Get this sign. wearing something warmer by now. Don't you think? Yeah, I think. Come on. Come on. Pamela Lee will be wearing some pants now. It's getting dark. She'd have definitely shorts, probably. doing? It looks like they're having more fun. We better go see what they're up to. Good walk. No, seemed to be nobody drowning. Gee, my skin's getting parched. I sure do need some sunblock. But I didn't seem to bring anything today. I brought everything but sunblock. Hmm. And my little tester seems to be out. I wonder who could help me. Harley Hasselhoff. He'll have some sunblock. Harley Hasselhoff. Oh, oh, there he is over there. Hey, Harley. 
Yeah, sure. I'll have some sunblock. No, I don't mind if it's greasy. Is it gooey though? I don't like gooey. As long as it's not gooey. Okay, I can do greasy though. Okay, let's let's have just spray a little bit on my face. Actually, spray it on my whole body. Wouldn't want to get burned. Ow! Tell me to shut my eyes first. Not too much. Down, down, down. My shoulders. Not my face, my shoulders. Not my face. My shoulders. My stomach, my stomach, my stomach. Just get get me good with that sunblock. Whatever it is there, it feels like it's working. Mmm, it feels strange and tingly. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll take a little nap. Strange feeling. I feel like I've never felt before. Like there's like this ache inside of me, this itch, this burn that can't be filled. Hmm. Mm, it gives me goosebumps. What's going on with me? Sunblock. Oh, that's right. Cool. Harvey sprayed that sunblock on me. I'm glad I wouldn't want to have gotten burned while I was sleeping. Hmm. Talking to yourself is usually normal for people in this Baywatch crew. So don't worry. Baywatch crew is very close with nature. Actually, we practice yoga every day. Probably have to have had to practice yoga for every session. And shift. And make sure that we're in the right zone for optimum performance. We're actually quite in tune with nature here on the show. Ow. This is hurting me. You think I should couldn't put this somewhere else? Like behind me? Not a little bit. Yes. Hopefully I'll get the show we'll have a show on in Paris. So my honey can see it. Probably so proud of me. And all the Parisians love American artists. You know what I'm and you can see my necklace. Oh. All of a sudden I forget all about my boyfriend. I can just think about all I can think about is my name. Oh, my Ah. Oh. Mm. And boy. My age. Mm. Yeah. I think somebody spiked something of mine. I feel almost high. I've never felt a high like this on any drug. So strange. I don't know. How strange. So as you 
broadcast live from Tahiti. I'm Holly Show. Um, oh yeah. I feel all of a sudden a rush come over my body. Hmm. I need to get to the bottom of this because I want to know what's going on with me. I usually don't feel like this. It's a strange sort of feeling. I feel like I've almost been given a love potion. Now who would want to do that? I don't know of anybody who would want to give me a love potion, but what would be their motive? I mean, I don't think anybody on the beach has a crush on me, do they? No, no, of course not. Hmm, it must be for some other reason. It must be some sort of a scheme, a ploy. For power. Hmm. Okay, okay, that's good. So, here we are in Fiji, broadcasting live. Harley's doing all sorts of things with the natives. I don't know what he's got going, but they seem to be worshipping him for some reason. Strange. I think he has some sort of power over them. Anyway, um, so we've rented out a big comp resort complex that we'll be filming from later on. And um, Harley's just flew us here on his jet and um, bought me a bunch of stuff for the trip. So I'm pretty happy and I think that you probably would be too. You're me. And uh, I think that um you know hopefully we should get to every single different country in this world for the millennium. So, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm sure that you would be too. Um, I also forgot to mention that every week we'll be broadcasting from a different country across the world. Now, right now, oh, did I happen to mention that your cousin was coming from Fiji? No? Oh yeah, she's coming um, on Friday. So we'll be, you know, expecting her visit. And we're all really excited about that. Because she's, you know, she's a, she's a gem. You know, she's, she's a diamond in the rough. There's no, there's no girl, girls like her anymore. So, you know, it's really hard for a girl to find good girl, girl friends these days, you know? They won't stab them in the back and stuff like that. <sighs> you know, and I think that, you know, um, 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 what was her name? My cousin, oh yeah. Um, you know, Cynthia's name on the old show. What was it? What's the name on the old show? Remember? It was Gil, Mihis, um, Gabriella, right? So Cousin Gabriella is coming, and I think Holly's going to have her blown here on his private jet before Thanksgiving, definitely. 
So it's sort of like a family gathering. We're going to have a lot of, um, you know, mysteries unfold, I'm sure, on the island before um, our visitors through. And, um, it's looking pretty beautiful right now, I think. I think I'm pretty overwhelmed with the overall beauty of the beach here. I mean, look, we've got the palm trees. Look, palm trees. Palm trees. Sand in our feet. Sand in our toes. Mmm, it's soft and silky sand, too. Plenty of guys on the beach. lifeguard and the lifeguard tower staring at me. I think that hopefully the crew will be showing up any time now. Don't you think? I think my crew will definitely be showing up any time now. Oh, is that them there? Oh no. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'm a lone lifeguard on the beach today. Which I probably don't have to be. I mean, all you need to do is just walk up to somebody and ask them to be your friend, and they'll be your friend, you know? It's not a big deal. We could walk up to any one of these people, and it's all about the way that we said hello that would make the difference, you know? 100% difference. All you have to say is just the right thing to people sometimes. Sometimes you just have to guess what the right thing is. You don't always know what to say. I know it can be pretty rough out there. It can be pretty rough out in the world of friendship and, and social pond of the world. And I just hope that we can love each other and not, you know, beat up on each other and make each other, you know, weak and sad and not, you know, salvage the last nice days to have on this beautiful planet we call Earth. And soon the planet will be getting very small and our eyes will be drift farther and farther away from it. Because we won't be able to stay here if we don't take care of it. And that's what our parents' generation in the system and their parents' generation and their parents' generation were ignorant to. So it's up to us, you know, to be responsible. We all know. We, we all know in, in the back of our mind what to do. A whole generation, we were born out of no coincidence at this time. But in order to get our point through, in order to get through, we want to get done across, we have to have a coding horse of sort to carry it in, you know? We have to have all the skills of the system and know how to beat the system and know all the licks and, you know, whatever tricks to get over on it that we possibly can so we can become strong as a force and unite and, you know, overthrow this old bit, you know, sooner or later and make sure that there's a planet for our children that's happy and safe and peaceful and free. That's all free. Because it doesn't matter how beautiful the place is, it's not free. It doesn't mean much. So, you know, today on Armageddon Hour, I just wanted to go through those topics because um, I don't think that we talk about Armageddon Hour enough. I really think that 
It's a subject that we can focus on more and more and use whatever tactics we need to use to get through what we want to get through, you know what I mean? Sometimes you've got to sort of bend the rules and do things to say what you want to say, you know? In order for people to listen to you, they've got to want to listen to lips that are talking. Some oh, hi, doggies. Hey, doggie. Hey, doggie. Oh, doggies don't like me. Hey, doggie. best thing for ourselves and really focus on that. You know? What's the best thing for you and your life and to accomplish your path to your sense on is ultimately the most important thing that I get to stay out of these things. So I hope we've learned something today on Armageddon Hour. And um, that's it for today's Armageddon Hour. Thanks for listening everybody and Enjoy the beautiful sand and, ne and nature. Oh yeah. What? Oh, let's go step in the left right there. Oh, I feel all of a sudden like, hmm, that potion seemed to last a long time. Hmm. I wonder if there's any guys on this beach. Oh, guys! Guys! I'm sure if I call, they'll come. Oh, guys! Guys! I sure do feel like that potion's pretty strong. but it is getting cold. And the girl's got to cover up. Oh. Thank you. Oh, how chivalrous. Chivalrous. So what are you doing all here by yourself? Oh, just, um... Hanging out, putting makeup on, and um, watching the water, making sure nobody drowns. Water's making sure no one drowns? Yeah, I'm a lifeguard here. Wow. I know I don't look like a lifeguard. My name's CJ. What's your name? John. Nice to meet you, John. You. My friend Adam's over here. He's being a. Hi. Your phone, too. <laughs> Want some apple? Oh, some apple? No, it's okay. I'm fine with this towel. Okay. She enjoys really, the finer things. I'll have, like I'll have some things. apple too, I guess. Walks on the sand. She doesn't want any of you, Mmm, -mm. let's hear some She's reading. Yeah, I've been working on these uh, poems I was, I was trying to memorize. I don't have them down with them. So. Uh-huh. Uh, I got a little bundle. Poetry? Mm-hmm. He's got apples, though. I mean, by all means, you're into apples. Hi, did I tell you my name is CJ? Well, you guys, maybe I could have some of your apples and some of your blanket and poetry. What do you say, guys? Not bad. My kind of gal. I feel strange today. There must be something in the water. There's something in the nachos at the snack shop today. Digestion? Hmm, maybe it was that strange sunblock that 
my boss Holly put on me. I don't know, it seems that ever since then, I was just so horny. No kidding. I don't know what happened. CJ's never like this normally on Babe Watch. You're a little fluffed. You can tell. You haven't kind of been pulled yeah. off the box. Definitely. Yeah, I feel it. I can, yeah, I I can, it. I can sense it. Actually, that's why we see it. Yeah, I bet. That girl, she switched on. Oh, so I see, so they can smell it a mile away. Tell me more, guys. Well, you Why know, else did you come up to me? We're kind of doing some fine women. We fit in this category, so. Oh, I've never had so much attention. I don't know what to do. Well, there's two of us, so that's double the attention I get. I don't know if I can handle all that attention. Good shot. I might not be able to handle double the attention. Well, <laughs> John. John actually has a little bit of code. Remember, John? Uh, no, I thought that was your appointment on the calendar, though. I'm pretty sure um, your grandma wanted to go bowling with you. Uh, wasn't that, uh, yeah, wasn't that yeah, what it was? <laughs> no, I don't. What? Well, if you have to go bowling and you have to go to your grandmother's, then I'll just have to stay here alone all night on the beach. Cancel our plans. Hopefully, this water will keep me warm. She owes me a favor, you know. And um, why don't you tend to my mother and uh, go bowl with your grandma, and I'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Um, you just call her and say I'll be a little later. I like that pen on the shirt though. That's a nice touch. He's yeah. kind of sloppy, you know? No, I like that. I like that in guys. No, you don't like sloppy. You guys are reading and writing. And... You know what? I sure do want some candy. All I give is just for some candy. Would somebody find me some candy? Can't a girl just get a piece of candy around here? I'll have some sandy candy dandy mandy. <laughs> How handy? Candy! In the sandy. And it's my favorite, Jolly Ranchy. Shall I unwrap it for you or? Um, Will you take yes, it later? Yes, but do it really slow and make sure not to get any sand inside. This is so unlike CJ. CJ is usually so faithful to her boyfriend. I wonder what came over her. What came over me? Candy. Oh, candy. Mmm. Mmm. Sandy. Mmm. Not a grain of sand in the whole piece. I made sure and sucked it all clean, and there wasn't a grain of sand on the whole thing. <sighs> hmm. I could go for a little candy. You could? Yeah. Let's go to the store and get more candy. Bring the book and the towel. All right. I wouldn't want to... be the only girl that gets candy. You wouldn't want me to be the only person that gets candy, would you, boy? Hmm. Let's go. Should we go to your private jet now? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the jet, boys. Jet. Next time on the Harley Show. The Babe Watch Cena saga continues. And hopefully, CJ will have snapped out of it and had enough candy by then that she can lifeguard and carry on her duties properly. Bye. Okay, okay, bye.
welcome to Harley's Secret Playhouse. Now today, we're talking about lingerie, lingerie, lingerie. And we're talking about this line that is from Harley's Secret, and it comes with a girl. Yeah, that's right, you don't have to make two trips for your lingerie. Just call Harley's Secret and get your mistress along with your lingerie. It's a real time saver. And right now, if you join Harley's Playhouse Club, you can um, buy now and not pay, pay nothing until April 2000. That's right, boys and girls. It's a real deal. Now, you'll be able to choose in our catalog from an array of beautiful young girls. We have your brunettes, we have your blondes, we have your Asians, we have your black girls, we have your blonde girls, and more brunettes. Now, most of all of our girls are under 23 and in extreme perfect physical condition like our beautiful girl here. Now, or our beautiful girl here. Now, you can choose from an array of styles and very diverse colors like Midnight Nut or Peachy Cream or Pearl Necklace. Now, all of these beautiful designs are half priced now in the month of January. And as I said before, join Harley's Clubhouse and pay nothing until April 2000. And again, for Harley and all of us here at Harley's Playhouse and Harley's Secret Lingerie Line, happy holidays. And goodbye. We'll be waiting for you. Have your credit cards ready. No CODs or checks allowed. Send your credit cards to P.O. Box Harley Show, 94610, California. And remember me, number 50309. Get your pen and pencils ready, folks. And we'll see you next week for another episode of Harley's Playhouse. Next week on Harley's Playhouse, we'll discuss the S&M clubs downtown and what that's all about. Now, we'll also discuss some of the new kinky sex toys out on the market and what's going on in the dom scene. Now, all of this is going to be X extra juicy and in our next segment on this part of Harley's Playhouse with your host, Mary Blue, where we examine some of the seediest underbelly of this nation's freaky side. We'll explore and talk about things worse, most people are scared to talk about. We're letting the cat out of the bag and grabbing the tiger by the tail. Now, get those pencils ready, boys, and write this down. Harley Show. And then we're going to put it on the screen or whatever, right? Write us your suggestions of what you think we should cover on Harley's Playhouse. Next week, 
we'll talk about the whole Playboy 2000 search for the Millennium Girl and the twins who won it. No? Next week, we'll talk to sex columnist Cynthia Lee and we'll discover what are her some of the kinkier, her kinkier secrets about living in Manhattan and the downtown single scene. Next on The Harley Show. Excuse me, I'm gonna go slip into a little bubble bath. But you can watch the next segment. It's called Armageddon Hour and we're gonna have on the next segment some of the local bands and up, up and coming videos, independent music videos. And um, I'm sure all you kids out there will enjoy the next segment. So um, we'll see you next week on Holly's Playhouse. My bubble bath is getting cold. Okay. Okay, that's it. Is the sound okay? Is the sound okay? Hi, and welcome to Harley's Playhouse. This week on Harley's Playhouse, we're looking at Harley's new lingerie line, Harley's Secret where your fantasies come true. It's a lovely new line of Venetian lace with beautiful array of colors like Midnight Nut or Pearl Necklace, all with matching panties. Buy one, get one free. Or if you join Harley's Playhouse, Pay no nothing until April 2000. That's right, boys and girls. Call now and pay nothing until April 2000. Because here at Harley's Secret, we just want you to have a good shopping experience. That's right. We're just selling lingerie. Nothing else. And we know how to make a good deal even better. Now, choose an art catalog full of beautiful romantic designs, including my favorite. Right here, we have the actual lingerie bustier Venetian black lace outfit, which you can also wear out to the club. That's right, boys and girls. This isn't just a bedroom outfit. You can be like Madonna and sport this to your favorite nightclub. Sure, you might scare your friends a little, but you're sure to get that guy you've been had your eye on and you've been looking for. So, take my advice, girls, and go with Holly's Secret. Because you can't lose with Holly's Secret. That's right, boys. Call now, have your credit cards ready. Don't you want to order something for your girlfriend or your mistress? I'm sure all the women in your life would love to have a present from Harley's Secret. Now, take my advice, boys. There's nothing a girl likes more than some sexy lingerie. And here at the Harley's Clubhouse, all we have to talk about is sexy lingerie. So, have your credit cards ready and your pen and pencils, boys. And call the number on the screen or write to Harley's Playhouse. And have your su new suggestions ready for what you'd like to see on the next Harley show. That's right, we'll go explore whatever you don't have the balls to go do. Sure, you want to go to a strip club? We'll do it for you. Would you like to check out that sex shop on the seedy part of town? We'll do it for you. Have you been curious about anything in the seedy underbelly of 
sex business and sex shops will search it for you because you can't do it yourself. We'd love to be your tour guides in the mysterious world of sexual enigmas. That's right. Here on Harley's Playhouse, you can look forward to a new sexual experience every week. Now, next, our next segment is called Armageddon Hour. Stay tuned for that. We'll be interviewing independent bands from around the Bay Area. A, a lot of them you've probably heard of or been to see yourself. Now, your host, Riot Girl, on the next segment is really a trip. You'll really like her. She's a very interesting girl. And I'm sure you'll love some of her antics and her exploration of the whole rock world because um, that is one of everybody's favorite segments here. They all agree that Armageddon Hour is the very best. So stay tuned next for Armageddon Hour and we'll see you next week on Harley's Playhouse. Don't have any